Hi Scorpio, welcome to your spirit messages reading for October. This is Mary, it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. This is a new series I'm adding to the channel. These are messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know right now. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you like this. Please keep a lookout for a new series I've also added called um, Who's Coming Towards Me. It's for singles. So please watch out for that also. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Whether you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me. Tons of stuff there. Personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media, um, lots of stuff there. So please do go check that out. And once again, welcome and thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who reached out for personal readings and those have tipped or donated and granted me with uh, a blessing that way is very much appreciated. All your support really does mean a lot in helping the channel grow and flourish and being a part of that and part of this community. So thank you so much, Scorpio and everybody else. So I hope everybody's doing well and happy fall, happy Halloween. So Scorpio, let's see what we have for Scorpio. All the decks are listed below, like I said, if you're interested in that. Um, Links to all other Scorpio readings are in the playlist. And I would say um, if something catches your eye to watch it anyway, I do consider all the readings timeless, no matter if they're dated or not. That's just for um, in the order I put them out so people know what are the old ones, what are the new ones. It's the only reason why I date them. All right, so Scorpio, what does Spirit want to tell you? What do you want to tell Scorpio at this time spirit what are their messages for October what do we have I'm gonna pull three from each oracle deck and then we'll clarify with the tarot so spirit please what does Scorpio need to know all right this one this one and we need one more one more for Scorpio spirit please thank you so much and that one I'm going to pull all three, and then uh, I'll show you what the cards are, and then I'll read them. I may read a little bit from the book also if I need to get um, for the messages, but I read it intuitively and by the images and by the word wording on the card. But if I feel like I need a little more um, clarity or a little more of a message, I will read a little bit. I won't read the whole message, just a little bit from the book. All right, so let's see what other messages are for Scorpio. What other messages do we have for Scorpio spirit? What do they need to know? What do you want to tell them for October? All right, and then tell me that one. One more, one more, one more. That one, usually if one sticks in my hand, uh, I usually take flyers or if it sticks in my hand or if it protrudes uh, out of the deck in a crazy weird way, then I take that as a sign also. All right, so what else do we have? This is like a tarot deck, but it's also an oracle deck. It does have writing on it, so I use it as an oracle deck. What else do we have for Scorpio at this time? What else do we have for Scorpio at this time? All right, let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. This is the guardian angel deck. We have joy. So you may be happy and joyous in October. You may be celebrating, having a good time, spending time with friends and family, just enjoying yourself. Nice. Celebrating something or just being happy and going out and having a good time. And then we have Archangel Uriel here. I'll have to look in the book. I'm not an expert with the angels or the guardian angels. I just want to let you know that. And then we have communication. So there may be something important for you in the month of October that you may need to communicate about. Uh, I'll just make sure you're very open and honest and uh, you communicate freely and openly and when you need to with those around you. So let's see Archangel Uriel. I just want to see here. Let's see fire of God and it says uh, let's see 
represents the soul, enhances our spiritual vision and our ability to radiate the light of our soul in all that we do. Especially useful if we suffer hostility or mistreatment from other people. Uriel can give us the inner peace to protect our own being and the strength to behave with compassion even to those who hurt us. So, Uriel is known as the Archangel of Salvation. Soul and Enlightenment. Activate love within us so our souls can ascend to a higher level. To appreciate the divine within ourselves and each other also brings us beauty and illumination, awakening. So he's all about, um, I'm, I'm getting forgiveness, compassion, enlightenment, uh, spiritual awakenings, um, and that sort of energy. Beauty, enlightenment. Yeah, so... For some of you that are needing enlightenment or you're needing um, encouragement or you're looking for spiritual growth, I would say if you're looking for what archangel do I feel like I need at this time for the month of October, it may be this archangel Uriel. So you may want to do more research on this archangel so you can work with him and see how he can help you moving forward. And I think it'll um, open up the airwaves for you to communicate better with those around you. Because white here is about peace, harmony. All the cards are um, boarded with a certain color. And red is all about like love, passion, and that sort of energy. And white here is like peace, harmony. So I feel like, and he's right in the middle here. So I do feel like some of you really need to um, do some research and work with this uh, Archangel Uriel. And I think it'll bring you a lot of peace and comfort and joy. And you be able to communicate more freely to uh, those around you and you communicate about yourself, how you're feeling, just in general. Wow. Okay. So let's see what these are. This is the enchanted map. So we have peaks of joy. Wow. So we, <laughs> oh my God, I can't make this up for you, Scorpio. We have two cards of joy here, peaks of joy. And you see the clouds here. And is this an angel too? No, but it kind of almost looks like an angel. So I think that's a double message here for you that some of you really need to uh, work on your happiness, your joy, and maybe working with Archangel Uriel to help you in your ascension, your enlightenment, um, to bring you peace and harmony. Wow. And then we have goblins. So this could be negative people around you. This could be uh, nitpickers. This could be... Um, just toxic negative energy, people that gossip, uh, that sort of energy, like people that like not goblins. I mean, they're not in a good energy. So, um, yeah. So be wary of the, of those type of people around you. Then we have rock bottom here. So some of you may be feeling low, having low self esteem, maybe feeling like you're in a low point right now um in your life or just in general maybe feeling depressed or something like that but you do have joy here twice and it may be you know whatever you're um depressed about or you feel like really really low maybe have to may have to do with someone around you who is not in a good energy may have with the you know goblins there may have deceived you hurt you in some way and maybe you're just looking, you know, maybe you have been praying, looking for encouragement, enlightenment. And I think Uriel here definitely can help with all this energy. And I think he can bring you out of this to bring you back into a joyous state here. Communicating with him. Praying, meditating, listening. Because you can come out of this energy. You have 10 here, which is an ending. And then you have 5 here, which is change. You have 33 here. Um, so you may want to... Um, Google that angel number, 33. I mean, threes to me are very social number. Uh, community, socializing, people coming together, being happy and joyous. And then 336, six to me, very healing, balancing number. So you can find your balance and heal from this. You may have to end a relationship. And maybe you may have to communicate that to get your peace, peace and harmony back, to feel happy and joyous again. 
Somebody around you is right in the middle here. Somebody around you is a goblin. <laughs> it's not a good energy. Negative. Oh, I got four cards here. Well, I guess you get four cards, Scorpio. I guess you get four. You get a bonus. All right. What do we have here? Four of summer. Tortoise. Your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is representing to you. Be open to investigating opportunities that come your way. So the four of summer here, this card to me is someone who is very disenchanted, melancholy, bored kind of energy. Just kind of like not really happy, not really sad, just blah. That's my blah card. Just kind of blah. So you're not happy, you're not sad. Or some of you could be depressed. You know, feeling something has hit rock bottom here for some reason. So let's see what else. So we have the Ace of Spring, White Tiger. A wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may have come as a surprise, but you'll still want to leap into action and, pos and passionately pursue every possibility. So this is an exciting new beginning. Uh, could be a new endeavor, project, uh, career, just something new here, something new coming in. So some of you may be feeling bored and in contempt, but something new for you is coming in the horizon that will bring happiness, joy, um, excitement. Um, you'll be very, you know, passionate about it. It could be anything, an endeavor. It could be a new hobby. It could be a new social group. It could be like work or career related or an endeavor or something, planning a big trip or something like that. Then we have Queen of Autumn, thoughtful, caring, creative, and genius. You will be given advice that's both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive energy in every situation or person. So Queen of, this Queen of Autumn card is very, someone who's very stable. Um, it's growth, abundance. It's very earth-related, so it's very grounded. So... So you could be getting advice that's practical and creative. The Ace of Spring and Wands is very creative. So maybe about some sort of new beginning here, a creative new beginning. So, you know, take the advice, focus, you know, be very focused, stay positive and stable and grounded with this energy. It's growth, abundance. And then we have Seven of Spring. Be assertive, believe in yourself and don't, let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. So this is defending yourself, standing up for yourself, not backing down, you know, just standing up for who you are, what you believe in, um, for wh whatever you're doing here. It's standing up for it. Believe in yourself and don't back down and trust in that and believe in your personal power and your inner guidance and follow it. So I see here some may be feeling bored then boom, this new beginning offer comes in, you know, listen to advice, you know, stay grounded, stable and stand up for what you believe in. So this is like a separate message here. But I do feel like some of you be careful of goblin people around you that may try to tear you down here with the rock bottom card, but follow your joy, your happiness. You may need to work with Archangel Uriel. You got two cards of joy here, communicating freely, openly, honestly, and standing up for yourself again with the communication here. So let's see, let's clarify all your messages here. Your Scorpio for October. Spirit messages. Scorpio for October. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Let's get a couple for the top row because I feel like that's pretty clear about needing, you know, the help of Archangel Uriel to help with your, um, if you need for, you know, compassion, forgiveness towards others, spiritual enlightenment, ascension, um, and that sort of energy. So let's see, let's just get a couple. So you have the King of Swords. Wow. And that goes right, I'm putting it right over here with communication. The King of Swords is all about open, honest, truthful communication, um, cutting away things no longer serving you, uh, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS kind of energy, truth, clarity. 
And then we have the Ten of Swords. So yeah, I, I definitely feel like here there's something that needs to end in your environment around you that is because it's blocking your happiness and joy. And you need to communicate and stand up for yourself. And you may need Archangel Uriel to help you in this process. All right, so... So we have the Queen of Cups in reverse that just flew out. That's your energy. So we got peaks of joy here with the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this is not, you know, not feeling like yourself, not feeling happy, not feeling at peace, not feeling compassionate, not feeling loving or nurturing, caring or giving, just kind of feeling not yourself. So definitely I do feel like something here is blocking you from being who you are, from being totally happy and in your energy. It's something needs to end there. Only you know what that is. Some some negative energy around you here with the goblins here. Okay, so what else do we have? Temperance energy here. So this is about balance, peace, harmony, patience, um, sort of energy. Yeah, you really, I think you really need to, um, you need balance in your life. You need to balance things out. You need to end some sort of toxic energy around you. And I think I've gotten that reading in your readings before because you're not yourself. You're not your happy, joyous self that you usually are. Something, someone, situation is having a negative effect on you and dragging you down. And you need to balance out this energy by cutting this out of your life and communicating freely and asking for help and guidance from Archangel Uriel. Wow. Okay. So let's see what else. I'm curious what this offer is down here. What is this? You got some kind, you know, you're feeling bored and content, but then all of a sudden you get this brand new, exciting new beginning and then being very stable, grounded getting good advice, standing up for yourself finally, moving forward and believing in yourself. So what do we have here for the bottom? So we have, wow, now we have the Ace of Swords, another divinely guided new beginning here of truth, clarity, victory, success there with the Ace of Swords, having a big epiphany. Um, this is always divine energy to me. Whenever I get the Ace of Swords, divine energy. So I think divine is on your favor. The universe is watching out for you. All right. So what else? What else? We got two here. So we have another card of balance. So first we had Sagittarius and now we have the six of pentacles. So really think you need balance in your life. I really think things are out of balance for you because you're in reverse. And you got the two of wands. So you got some crossroads here and you got some decisions to make about um, a situation here. Things going on that you really need to uh, decide what you need to do here. I feel like the bottom here is like a separate message. And I feel like all this up here is connected. So I really feel like here you need to decide... Um, what you need to cut out of your life to bring balance back into your life to bring you back to you feeling like yourself is some toxic energy negative energy dragging you down is what i feel scorpio if you do like this um yeah tower here so don't be afraid of tower moments i mean that just may be what you need to do is to shake things up here you know, tear things down and rebuild or just start over or just tear it down, you know. Just maybe a shock to certain people, situations. This could be divine energy, you know, coming in and blasting a situation for you also. Wow, Scorpio. Yeah, you're kind of blocked right now. You don't know what to do. You're trapped and blocked in your head. But you want cycles to end. You want new cycles in your life with the world energy. 
All right, Scorpio, those were your spirit messages. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope they resonated for you. And if you do like this, you like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Like I said, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four different readings a month. So don't miss out on that. So good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.